Hi, and welcome. It is the Christmas season, and we have asked Pastor Steve to help us take Christmas to the next level. This year, we've gone through so many of the different virtues like joy, love, forgiveness, faith, patience, and perseverance, even respect and responsibility. We've done service and humility, gratitude and generosity. You know, God is so generous that He has given us the choice to be forgiven of our sins by sending His one and only Son, Jesus. Let's check out what Pastor Steve has for us today. Merry Christmas, everyone! Today we're going to take a really close look at some items you see a lot at Christmas time. I'll show you a close up image of something related to Christmas. As soon as you think you know what it is, shout out your answer. Are you ready? Let's go! Hmm, what do you think this first image is? Time's up. What is it? If you said Christmas tree, you're right. Nice job. Here's the next one. What do you think this might be? Time's up. What is it? If you said Christmas stocking, you're right. Let's try another. I wonder what this could be. Time's up. What is it? If you said a nativity scene, you're correct. Now what do you think this might be? Time's up. What is it? If you said nutcracker, you got it right. Well done! Study this next one carefully. Shout it out if you know it. Time's up. What is it? If you said candy cane, you're right. Sweet job on that one. What do you think we're looking at here? Time's up. What is it? If you said a Christmas present, then you're correct. Way to wrap that one up. I wonder what this could be. Time's up. What is it? If you said a Christmas ornament, you're right. Nice job. What do you think we're looking at here? Time's up. What is it? If you said a bell, you're correct. Oh, what fun it is to be right. All right, this is our last one. Can you figure out what this is? Time's up. What is it? If you said an angel, you're right. Great job. Well, that sure was a lot of fun. Merry Christmas, everyone. Thanks for playing. This week, let's take our verse to the next level, Christmas edition. You will find it in 
Luke 2, 10, 11. Do not be afraid. He said, I will bring you good news. Good news that will bring great joy to all people. The Savior, yes, the Messiah, the Lord, has been born today in Bethlehem, the city of David. Hi guys, I'm Pastor Steve, and welcome to my newest show. Now, on this show, this is where we take normal, typical, everyday, boring things, and we take them to the next level! Yeah! Now, today, we're going to take Christmas tree decorating to the next level. Yeah! And I have a friend of mine, he knows all about trees, and I ask him, where can I find the best Christmas tree? It seems ludicrous, but he said, go to this parking lot, and you'll find the best Christmas tree. So here we are, and according to his direction, this is right over there. Let's go find this Christmas tree. Next level. I can't believe it. It's right here, just like he said. Wow, guys, this is going to be a beautiful Christmas tree. But first, we have to cut the tree down. Now, to cut a tree down like this, you can do a number of different things. You could cut it in half with your mouth. You could saw it in half with like a handsaw. Now, on this show, we're gonna cut this down using a chainsaw. You know why? Because this, my friend, is next level. Wait a minute, this is a fake tree. This is a fake Christmas tree. It's all right, I know how to bring it down. Next level karate kick. And that is how you take down an artificial Christmas tree, next level style. The story of Christmas, Mary and Joseph. This is Mary. Hi! You see, Mary was the mother of Jesus. But before that happened, she lived in the town of Nazareth. Mary had no children because she lived according to God's law <laughs> and had never been married. Oops! But she was engaged to marry a man named Joseph. hey -o. One day, an angel came to Mary and said, Hi. Ah! That God had chosen Mary. The angel said, God is with you. But Mary was afraid and confused. Huh? She wondered what the angel was talking about. Then the angel said, Don't be afraid. God loves you and wants to use you in a great way. Uh, me? You will give birth to a son and you will name him Jesus. He will be very great, and he will be the king forever. Uh, hold on. Mary asked, But how can this happen? For she was not married yet and knew that she couldn't have a child until she was married. But the angel told Mary that the Holy Spirit would make her pregnant. Wow. So that the baby born will be holy and will be called the Son of God. Wow. The angel reminded her that nothing is impossible with God. So Mary decided to trust God and all that he had planned for her. Before their wedding, Joseph found out that Mary was pregnant. Wait, what? He thought she had done something wrong. Uh. But Joseph was a man of God and decided to break off the engagement quietly so no one around town would think badly of Mary. While Joseph was thinking about all this, an angel appeared to him in a dream. Oh, uh, hi? The angel said, Joseph, don't be afraid to take Mary as your wife. Huh, what? The angel explained that Mary's baby was from God. Wait, what? The angel told Joseph that the baby's name would be Jesus, and he would save his people from their sins. Oh, wow. And when Joseph woke up, he did as the angel told him. Uh, hi. You ready? Right? Really? Yeah! 
and took Mary as his wife while she was still pregnant with the Son of God. And so Joseph and Mary trusted in God and the two followed the plan that God had given them to help bring the Savior into the world. All right, now this tree is going to make a great next level Christmas tree. But you know what's really next level? The Christmas story. I mean, check this out. So here you have this girl, Mary. She's engaged to be married to this guy named Joseph. And one day an angel, an actual angel, came to Mary and told her she was going to have a baby, but not just any ordinary baby. This baby was going to be the son of God. He was gonna be the savior of the world. Now, a couple of things here. First, to have an angel, an actual angel stand and talk to you, that's next level. But Mary was scared to death. Mary wasn't married yet. How could she have a baby? And the angel told her that the Holy Spirit was going to place this baby in her because it was going to be the son of God. And they were gonna name him Jesus. Now, Joseph finds out that his soon-to-be wife is pregnant He's confused. He doesn't know what's going on here. And he was gonna break off the engagement and just go a separate way. But then an angel came to Joseph in a dream and said, nope, you are to marry this girl, Mary, because the baby she has, it's from God. And he will be named Jesus. He'll be the savior of the world. Joseph didn't understand it. It was very confusing, but Joseph trusted God. Mary as confused, as scared as she was, she didn't know what was happening, but she trusted God. See, God had a bigger plan. So they trusted God and that, my friend, is next level. That's where it all began. And you know, no matter what's going on in your life, you may be confused about something. You may wonder, hey, I, I don't know what's happening here. Why are these things going on in my life? And you may not have an explanation for it, but I can tell you this, guys. You can trust God and His Word. I don't always understand the things that happen in my life, but I do know I can trust God just like Mary and just like Joseph because God truly is in control. God promises to always take care of us and never to leave us. And that is why we can trust Him. This, my friend, is gonna make a great next level Woo! Christmas tree. Now, we're not just gonna decorate this Christmas tree with lights and ornaments like everybody else does. We want to winterize this Christmas tree with snow. This is a technique a lot of people might use if they wanna make their Christmas tree look like there's snow all over it. Not here at Next Level, uh-uh. We're gonna really make it snow. This is how you make it snow Next Level. This is a Next Level snow machine. This bad boy is gonna make it snow all over the place. So let's have some next level snow right now. All right, boys, back it up. Let's make it snow. Yeah. Winterize this thing. Woo! That's right. You go this side. Woo! That's right, baby. It's snowing. Yeah. Woo! 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 Yeah. Woo! Next level. Woo! Yep. Next level.
good news that will bring great joy to all people. Don't be afraid. I bring you good news that will bring great joy to all people. The same. Peace.